Megan and I finally got a few days of vacation together. We decided to take the overnight Amtrak out of Los Angeles and into the heart of the Sonoran Desert. We had heard that Tucson has amazing bicycle infrastructure, so we made a plan to visit all the most popular tourist attractions using our bicycles instead of a car. Over the next four days, we would make an Airbnb in the center of town, our home, as we explored. How'd you sleep last night? Very well. Yeah? Maybe it was because I came off of a 28 hour shift. Slept <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> you look like you're sleeping like a baby. Hey. <laughs> The plan for day one was to visit a couple of the closer destinations and save some energy for the longer days later in the week. The cool thing about bike paths like this is you get to see like people of all skill levels out riding. Yeah, because it's so safe. So safe. You almost feel like you need a helmet, but you see everyone from like full on Lycra jerseys <laughs> to like people smoking cigarettes while riding their bike. <laughs> it's like... Hey, if you're going to smoke cigarettes, you might as well do it while you're riding a bike. <laughs> Mission San Javier del Bac did not disappoint. It was built around the year 1800 and is the oldest intact European structure in Arizona. Stepping onto the church grounds feels like stepping back in time. Our next stop was the Pima Air and Space Museum. We had a wonderful experience that started with super friendly staff that pointed us in the right direction for bicycle parking and pannier storage. We spent hours at the museum looking at the over 400 aircraft on display. It really has been a good day, hasn't it? After a late lunch, we made our way to our Airbnb. We settled in, relaxed for a bit, and eventually headed out for dinner and drinks. We decided against riding bicycles on day two and instead rented a car. The rain in the forecast probably wouldn't have stopped us. But the prospect of riding an aluminum bicycle frame into a lightning storm, that sure did. The Arizona Sonora Desert Museum was incredible. The animal exhibits blended so well into the landscape, it was almost like seeing them on a hike. There was so much to see and experience, but the highlight was definitely the Raptor Free Flight Show. and enjoyed it so much that we regretted not having done either the ladder tour or the wild tour. Both of those take you deeper into the caves and are adventurous enough to require protective gear and that you be fit enough to scale obstacles and negotiate tight squeezes. We were glad to be back on our bicycles on day three and excited to attempt Mount Lemon. The ride has a wide shoulder all the way up, and the change in elevation takes you from the heart of the desert up to a pine forest, which received quite a bit of snow from the storm the day before. Oh, you stupid fucking weak! 
Fuck you physically, you stupid fuck! And now you wanna roll shit! Come on, you stupid motherfucker! I just don't too, motherfucker! Get out! Yeah, what? I'm not a fat! Fuck off, you stupid fat! Fuck you, motherfucker! I want to go on my bike ride. Slow the down. Hey, look, you almost hit these people. No, I didn't. You don't need to go at 60 miles an hour around this. Dude, runner, let it go. Let it go, runner. Feet limit 20. <laughs> I would not be super stoked if somebody got out of their car with a crowbar in their hand. <laughs> Uh, I would have stopped throwing rocks though if somebody yeah, ran at you know. with a crowbar. <laughs> I think if I were that runner, I would have just run away. Yeah, right. If I could just take all of that aggression and tension we just saw and funnel it into my legs and pedal me up this freaking mountain, I'd be golden. Can I borrow your aggression, yes. sir? Please. <laughs> On our way up, we made a new friend, Cormac. He was on his way from the Mexican border up to Canada and has so many great stories to tell from all his travels. He also helped us try to repair a sidewall slash in Megan's front tire, which appeared suddenly on a rest break. Unfortunately, the bacon didn't hold. We had to revert back to a boot and a tube. <laughs> quite the top, but I think something to still be proud of. I tried so hard, <laughs> but my legs are cooked. Sixty-five miles for right, <laughs> so I could eat this. You ready for this breakfast? Yeah, very <laughs> hungry. Did you earn it though? Yeah, yesterday I totally earned it. <laughs> it didn't that cover dinner? I don't think it covered breakfast too. I'm gonna bike later on today. <laughs> Quad for throwing a frisbee. <laughs> Where are all the frisbee throwers? <laughs> Close it is a little bit early. Check this out. It is beautiful. <laughs> and then I am excited for this. This is the whole wheat sourdough. Okay. Oh, with the saguaro. I was kind of doubtful about visiting the botanical garden after all we had seen on our trip, but I was pleasantly surprised at how much there still was to see at Tohono Chul. We really enjoyed getting up close and personal with some very large saguaros and other plants native to the Sonoran Desert. the botanical gardens, we made our way back towards the Amtrak station. We had a couple of hours to spare and were excited to while away the time with some cold beer and calorie dense food at some of the best breweries in town. We were also reminded along the way that we'd be missing the 4th Avenue Street Fair. It's probably for the best though because our panniers were already full of bread and other souvenirs. This pretzel going to be big enough for you. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Bigger than my face. Much bigger. 
Overall, we really enjoyed Tucson, and I think Megan really enjoyed her first Amtrak sleeper car experience and multi-day bicycle tour. I'm looking forward to many more adventures soon. Thank you.